Welcome back to the Bay. Welcome back to the basement yard. How's everyone doing? I don't know why I said how's everyone doing. Everyone is good, if well, you mean me. Well, Charlie's in here, too. Charlie's he, in here. He's not, he's not doing so great. He's not doing great. He's, he's got a, that skin infection. That sick fuck. It actually looks disgusting right now, but that's a good thing. It's, like, scabbed I, up pretty well. Scabbing is good, mm -hmm. but, um, I mean, it wasn't really cool. As soon as I got here the other day, he stuck it in my face. He want, he likes to show people his ass. He likes, well... It's not his ass. It's <laughs> he, like his I back. wonder where he learned that. Yeah. <laughs> It's a little thing that you guys don't know about Joey. He loves to wag his ass in front of me. I what? Mm? I like to wag my ass. You in front wag of that. You? you wag that big old thing. Okay. Uh, I'm glad you're feeling better. Uh, glad. Did you have therapy today? I did. Okay. Good. 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 Glad you were able to get everything out. What are you talking? You about? came in hot and heavy this morning on Twitter. Boy, oh boy. Oh, because you were fucking. You were lying to the people. I was not lying to the people. I don't lie to the people. I, I we can recall and re, uh, go over our conversations. By the way, we're referencing for those of you guys that haven't seen. Go check out Joe Santagato on Twitter and F Alvarez eight zero eight five on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> it, they've heard this before. I know. Me and Frankie, uh, well, the, the ketchup and bread thing. The ketchup and bread thing. And I'm and eating something it. that has bread and something that requires ketchup. So sometimes I take a piece of bread. Not a whole loaf of bread. No, I never said a whole loaf or a whole slice of bread. Uh, that you've done a slices of pita bread. Yeah, the triangle. It's not like that's a whole. A, that's 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 when it's oh, cut whatever, into whatever. sections. That's like a whatever. dipping. Also, I've never like just. My point is this: you have led the people to believe that I am sitting in a room with just a <laughs> jar of ketchup and a bunch of bread and just eating that, which is not the case. And then you went as far as to 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 perjury <laughs> in front of the world. Perjure is what you're looking. Perjure for. and commit perjury <laughs> in front of the er, world. Mm -hmm. And say that I, I never said this was gross. So I just when when you literally said that, and you've also <clears throat> you have made it seem like, as I said on Twitter, that I'm dipping bread into well, blood. Welcome back to gaslighting, Joe. Uh, I will say I don't. If we recall the conversations, we pull them up because I think one of them was on a podcast. Uh, I don't think I said that it's gross as much as I said it's just strange and unnatural. And I stand by that here, Joey. I stand by that here. It is very unnatural to because this is the thing. I agree. And when you do it, for the most part, you have extra bread that you're like, oh, I got a little piece of extra bread and I'll dip it in this ketchup. I'll, you're a big wiper. I like to wipe. I, you're a big wiper, which you in the past said that you didn't do. You're a big wiper. No, no, no. Dips. That fucking story you told that, was completely fabricated. No, I remember growing up on the plates in your house, you would have chicken and then you would put duck sauce on your plate and you would wipe the chicken through it. It happened. You might not remember. Wait, wait. wait. Uh, again, I, you're a wiper. I, you're I, a wiper I, of dips. I need clar They're called dips, not wipes. Frankie, if it's on a flat p plate, don't. That's why you don't put it. That's why you put it in a little bowl. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is, this is what he's referencing. He tried to make it sound because when he originally told this, he told people that I had a separate plate of just fucking duck sauce. No, that no, I would no, 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 no. Wipe no, a whole no, piece no, no. of chicken no. barehanded, no. mind you. Barehanded? What, you're supposed to be wearing gloves? No. No, I have a fork, you dumb no, bitch. No, 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 no. I never said that you had a separate plate. I said on your plate, you would put a, what, what is it called when you put a dip and it like runs? It's like a, like a, a blob. You had a blob of duck sauce, and you would be eating chicken, and not every piece, but some pieces, you would take it and wipe it through the duck sauce and fucking eat it. With a fork. Nah. Frankie, I would there never some, use my hands! Sometimes you use your hands, Joey. Literally, I grew Frankie. up in your house. I grew up in your house. Hey, I, you literally didn't, Yes, Frankie. I did! Also, my father literally has stabbed me in this forearm because he used to sit on this side of me anytime I try to touch my food. Listen, Even if I tried to pick up a pea with two fingers, I'm he would saying, stab me in the arm listen, and I would, listen, I would listen, threaten listen, to listen, call. Listen, listen, I would threaten to call the government. I said, hey, I'm going to push you down because you keep stabbing me in my arm. You, you know what big, he did? Big guy. He, you know what he would do? He would unplug the phone and he'd say, get upstairs right now. And what would I do? I'd get upstairs <laughs> right now. He'd listen. He was a good listening I was boy. A, I was a good listener. Um, uh, Here's what I'm going to say. I'm not quick. saying at dinner this happened. There were times where it would be like, yo, like on a Saturday, Saturday, like, yo, I'm going to run home to eat real quick, and, like, I need to, like, do something. Uh, or walk the dog was a big one that you would go home to do during the day, and then you'd eat, and then we'd go back out. I remember this, Joey. Don't fucking sit here and try to lie to me and gaslight me. Gaslighting Joe is back. All I'm saying is that dipping, it's a dipping thing, and you would wipe. And in this situation, there were times where, like, extra bread, I get it. Dip a little in the ketchup that you got. The residual ketchup, I get that. That is fine. It is unnatural, and I stand by it because pita bread, but... But 
I don't believe I ever said it was gross because I, I've done I it myself. I don't, I don't. I just don't know why you're like going on about this like wipe because when you have ketchup on a plate, instead of just doing this, you just go like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I, the, what, what is wrong with that? That's, that was, that's, that was an ex, you would do that's an ex, common. You would do an extended wipe. An extended? What, I, I, how big is this plate, Frankie? You ever see, you ever see like uh, guys' grocery games or or chopped where they would put where the chefs would put the dot like with the spoon and then they would go like that to make it look like a fancy smear. And by the way, it's a smear, not a smear. Uh, that's what you would do uh, constantly. Okay, I remember this. Whatever. But I'm glad you got it out and you're feeling better. I I, I like to see you in a positive mood. I was screaming at my therapist about this. I, I, <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> I believe it. No, um, but I was screaming about something different because well, not screaming, but like I had this really awkward encounter with uh, I'm we're, I'm getting a, a a new studio. Oh yeah, building it out. That's right. Um, in Brooklyn. And I have a contractor coming to build all the walls and everything that I need. And hopefully by mid-November, we're in there. Brand new studios for a bunch of stuff. New content, new products, all these things coming in the future. Really excited about all that. Um, But I had this contractor who I knew through a guy who I've worked with before. Mm -hmm. And he's like, this is my carpenter. He does all my carpentry. So like, call him, whatever. Call him, set up a a time to meet there. And we were recording that day. So I was a little late. So I rushed there. Mm Mm-hmm. Sat in traffic, I get there, find a spot immediately. I'm waiting outside. The guy, uh, it was super awkward because he just like pulls up, right? Doesn't park in a parking space and he gets out. He immediately comes up to me and he's like, you're Joe, right? And I'm like, yeah. And then he leans in and he tries to, I think, kiss me on the mouth. This is a very... So I, I went like this and then he like did it again. What was he trying to do? Was he kiss going me? for a kiss? What's he doing? The like a no, no. This friendly. was like a straight on kiss. It wasn't like an Italian this and oh, that. Oh, he it wanted was a straight, straight I'm, blow. Listen, somewhere was he like some sort of like Polish or something? Because I feel like they would. Be no, he was just a regular guy, like regular a, American, cold blooded. Uh, what, what is it? Red blooded yeah, American. I, th- I think he's a. Are they red blooded? I think sometimes. Oh right, yeah, we have red blood. Yeah. Um, technically, it's blue. Um, but I, I don't know, isn't it when it, whatever, but he, uh, Smith. no, but then yeah, he, so he leaned in and he tried to, he tried to fucking kiss me. That's cool. Did you yeah. kiss him? No, I also made this up. This didn't happen. Oh. This is a made up story. Wait, why? <laughs> why would you do that? Because it's more fun than what actually happened. Oh man. I, I would say, honestly, I would hire him just off of that. If I went and like, nah, the guy con- didn't try to kiss me. If I went and the contractor was just like, just like try to kiss me, like I'd be like, this is a, this is a, this is, this guy knows what he wants. I say, <laughs> this guy knows exactly what he wants in life, and good for him. Yeah, can you imagine that's the first time you meet like a, another guy and he just smooches you, and you're like, well, I guess. What? I mean, I, you know, I, I think we need to normalize. Aff- no, 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 we're not normalizing kissing strangers. Right I now. think affectionate. Uh, no, uh, you know, being no. affectionate. You're if talking it, about sexual assault, so go ahead. Uh, no, 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 go ahead. No, 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 keep going. I'm not saying between you and this person you didn't know. Frankie. I'm saying like between me and you. Like well, we, if I was be like, yo, I'm leaving for the day. Can I? give you a kiss and you say yeah like that would be cool no but oh, like oh, you're talking about consent now yeah yeah but i don't want to kiss you and i didn't want to kiss this guy either okay. in the story but then, you said we need to normalize so you're trying to normalize sexual assault cancel cancel him <laughs> yeah fuck yeah, exactly fuck, you got me <laughs> so what actually happened in this fucking contractor by the way which i hope he doesn't I'm trying this. to normalize you kissing me joey that's yeah. what i want to normalize <laughs> i here. picked up on that okay. don't worry all right okay <laughs> um but this guy i mean i'm still i think i'm gonna be using him so i hope he doesn't see this but yeah, who cares? he he just like we showed up there he's gonna and hear I, that you you made up him trying to kiss you and he's like i don't want to work with him yeah anymore. that's enough of i that. wouldn't do that <laughs> so hopefully he's done with construction by the time this goes out and he's probably not a patron definitely not <laughs> um anyway <laughs> patreon this isn't a patreon episode i know oh yeah uh, patreon.com slash basement yeah, yeah so i got a week in advance baby there you go uh but the guy um ended up just going home he's like i can't find parking and he just left and I was like, what the f-? I was so mad. And then he's like, oh, you got to, he's like, just measure it out and like send me in and I'll send you a quote. Already I was like kind of pissed off, but I really have nowhere to go here. So I, I went up there. I didn't have a tape measure. So I went up to the unit and, and I was just like walking down the hallway, like knocking on doors. And I knocked on this door and there's two guys in there. I was like, yeah, do you guys have a tape measure? And he's like, yeah, throws me a tape measure. Hits off the wall, by the way. It's horrible throw. Yeah, that's bad throw. And then the guy's like, I meant to do that. I was like, ricochet. And then I got out of there. Backboard. Yeah. The tape measure was nine feet. Oh, so you so had I, to do... I measured the... <laughs> Dude, I was measure. I was sweating by the time Is I was Is this a, sum- a, a very humble flex at saying that you have a large-ass studio now? 
No, I mean, any sort of studio that you're going to be building out where there's construction, you have to build walls. It's a big empty space and I need to measure out which what the size of rooms that I want. So I was doing that with a nine foot fucking uh, tape measure. And so I'm, I'm measuring, stepping on it, going like this, measuring, stepping on it. It was impossible. Wait, why? Why? First of all, fuck this guy. I, I know he's listening now <laughs> because you told him to like, hey, we talked about you on the episode. Nope. Fuck this guy. What's his name? ABC Carpenter Man? Make sure you tell him to go fuck himself because, like, find parking. We're trying to work. You're trying to work for us. Whatever. I'm not going to push that's my That's bad business. Here. From the it school is. of business, that's bad. It, and this is the Better Business Bureau guy. B- big boy, Better Business Bureau boy. Yeah, that's a ton of peace, dude. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, so I was, like, kind of pissed off about that. But, you know, it is. It so, is, wait, why yeah. are you still going with this guy if he just showed up and was like, ah, I'll see you later? Because I've been trying to find a contractor for so long. Bro, I could find you a carpenter. Uh, well, okay. Well, hey, your dad want to do it? I'll ask him. He's in Colombia at the moment. So, I need someone to not be in Colombia to do well, it. Well, he comes back, I think, in like a couple days. <laughs> Big Daddy's home? <laughs> Big Daddy will be home. <laughs> Big Daddy will be home. Big Daddy will be home. But, yeah, I, no. I mean, if you're really, I'll ask. It him. also depends on this guy's quote. Hey, man, don't work with my dad. Yeah, okay. Don't. <laughs> yeah, he's going to come in and smoke black and milds. He's going <laughs> to. Dude, my dad is going to rip so many black and milds. Wait, you Brooklyn? I'll be there. Oh, yeah, fuck, I won't go. <laughs> yeah, you're. T- my dad, dude, my dad... I'll just be building random furniture. I figured you could use a bench. Yeah, I, I well, don't need this. Yeah. Oh, I put a cooler in your table. Yeah. Don't, <laughs> don't need that. I have a fridge. Every single year, for those who don't know, Frankie has a house in Connecticut. We go there. His dad has built something new. Is yeah. it, whether it's a table or like... He completely redid it. It looks really nice now. He built like a, a swing thing for the, for the porch. New patio, <laughs> yeah. But there's always a fridge in the middle of things. everything, my dad is like, it's like a he, chair. Put a fridge in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad would be like, "Oh, I made this live edge, beautiful table. It's big. Everyone can fit at it. In the middle, cool." <laughs> it's like, Dad, you know we have a fridge in the house, forty feet away. A fridge in the other <laughs> fucking little like uh, work shed that you have, thirty <laughs> more feet away. Like we don't need. Th- my dad. Guy loves fridges. He's a big fridge guy. He loves the refrigerator. And he builds stuff. Like, my dad... So, my dad's the type of person who can't sit still. Yeah. Like, he is like that, like, typical, like, I need to be working. I'll die. I'll work. He <laughs> will never fucking stop. And the funniest part about all this is that the house is sinking. Uh, is it a boat? Uh, no. In- into the into earth? Into the earth. It's sinking. It's sinking. So, the back room... Where, like, when you walk in the room all the way to the left across from where the bathroom is, yeah, it's in the ground. Like, it's falling into the ground. And for about 10 years, I've been like, Dad, you need to fix this. Yeah. And his first thing was like, I need the time. <laughs> I, need, I need the money. The material. And I need the people. And I'm like, I understand. I get that. Guess what he has all of right now? Maybe not the money. But you know why he doesn't? You know why he doesn't have the money? Because he's built about seventeen fucking yeah. live edge tables. There's there's ta- there's new tables. There's new chairs. There's that bar sitting area. Yep. Then there's the swing, and then the, the new stair thing. Yes. It's a lot of work. And, and then a new a new a new stairs on the. Also, dock. I think there's two new tables, if I'm not mistaken. There's there's been two new tables. There's a couple couple tables, and and there's like oh, a, and the dock. The dock. <laughs> the dock. This fucking guy builds everything but the thing, and and like. He's like, I need a time. He's been at the lake for two years. Yeah, you guys are gonna have no house. Mad tables. Though. Mad <laughs> tables with with coolers. With coolers. With coolers. Who needs it in? Where well, you need to sleep? Open it. Put pillow in there. Yeah. <laughs> nice and cool. The tables outside. I got a bed in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This fucking guy. Uh, but don't go with this fucking legend. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, also, another thing. Since we're on the uh, thing of like contractors, I don't know if you saw this, but oh, I know that you saw this. Megan Trainer. Oh! <laughs> That's how I feel about Megan Trainer. Megan Trainer and her husband. Uh, you know who she's married to, right? I, I saw a picture of him. I don't know who that is. You don't know who that is? No. You never seen Spy Kids? Um, stop! I, stop! I know... Stop! 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 Have you ever seen Spy Kids? <laughs> I've no, I haven't. You've never seen a Spy Kid? I, I've, that girl's in something. Alexa Vega. What is she in? I've known her. Machete. <laughs> 
I mean, before Spy Kids, she was on a show or something. I think, I think, I, I don't I like remember. recognized her. I had never seen it, no. I You've do, never seen Spy Kids? I have seen that scene where the kid has the glasses that like magnify 10 times. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a meme now. Yeah. But you, I can't believe you've never seen He's Jew. I forgot his name. You say he's Jewish? He's uh, Juni, I think is his name. Oh. He might be, might he, be Jewish. I mean, he's an actor. Uh, so there's a chance. There's a good chance. <laughs> uh, but he's Juni from the Spy Kids. Yeah, I don't know. It means nothing to me. So go ahead with your story because this literally made me want to kill myself. So I read up on it. <laughs> I read up on it because I saw a headline that says like Megan Trainer and her husband have uh, toilets next to each other, right? And they shit together. So I clicked into the article because I'm like, mm, disgusting. And apparently she uh, requested this to her contractor and was like, hey, can you just put two toilets in the bathroom like right next to each other and uh they thought she was joking and she was she like doubled down she was like no for real because they have a child and they both have to pee at the same time so they like piss bro if you're making trainer you got this house where you could do double toilets pretty sure you got more than one bathroom yeah first of all my understanding megan trainer Got plenty. Got, got enough that she can get a couple other bedrooms. You know yeah. what I mean? All about that base. All about that oh, base. No trouble. those bathrooms. Yeah. Uh, wait, so she said that it's because her kids want to pee next to her? No, because her, because <laughs> I don't know what the kid really had to do with this, but she's like, yeah, you know, we got kids. She's peeing with the kids? I think when you have a, a newborn and you got to piss and like the other person's got to piss. Or I don't know. But people, they got to piss at the same time. Yeah, get. From someone that has recently had a newborn. Mm-hmm. Um, I have no fucking clue what you're talking about. Apparently, their I, bladders are synced up. Oh, so it's like women's menstrual cycles. Like, you put two women in a room together. You know how they say, like, two ships eventually will come to meet each other? Yeah. Put two women in a room together, their periods will be the same? I'm not familiar with the sailor version of I, that. I believe it's like, you know, put two ships in the ocean, they'll meet eventually. There's a saying in there somewhere. Okay. But, like... So what? Like, just, just put two people together, they piss at the same time, and shit it and shid? Apparently, they're... <laughs> That's the that's the the elephant in the room. Yeah, that they're taking tandem shits is like pretty concerning. I don't. Also, what's that plumbing look like? Oh, double boy. flushing. Double, fl bro. You flush at the same time, you'll like go to Narnia or some shit. Also, I'll say uh, whatever. I'm gonna get to this this tweet because she put out a tweet and she said to clear things up. Now I have hope when when someone says that, right? There's a, there's an article that comes out that says, yo, you and your husband are shitting together. There's two toilets. Well, yeah. Well, the evil media. Yeah. So so she goes to clear things up, and already I'm like, thank God she's gonna debunk she's gonna, this. Thank God, yeah. We pooped once together. Once in all caps. One too many times. One too many. I would say that's like five too many times. Oh. It should be like negative four you should, times. Yeah, you should never poop when you're in like the house together. You know what I mean? Just like leave. One person leave. Go do yard work. The other person poop. <laughs> Cut the grass. Yeah. Take a shit when they're cutting the grass. Yeah, do something. Uh, to, be, to, be, to clear things up, we pooped once together and we laughed and said never again. But he will hang out with me if I'm pooping because we soulmates. And I legit miss him when I'm away from him. And we pee together, obviously. That's the tweet. That's a, that's a legit quote. It says, we pooped together once and we laughed and said never again. But he will hang out with me if I'm shitting because we're soulmates. Let me tell you something about soulmates. I don't really know anything about soulmates. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll answer. One in a million, all these things. I've seen the movies. We've all seen The Notebook. You know, people are in love. I know a lot of married people, all right? My, not my parents anymore, but at one point they were. Were your parents shit next to each other? Fucking hell no. <laughs> my mom would rather go to hell than deal with that. <laughs> well, yeah. I also would rather go to hell. I wouldn't shit next to the Pope. if he. If, I don't uh, even know I what mean, that would do to Pope, me. The Pope, that'd be a good story. I'd do that one. I'd watch the Pope wipe. <laughs> No, but I, that's Bro, what I was going to bring up. I was going to say, from someone that believes mm -hmm. they have found their soulmate, right? I can name a hundred things I would do before I would ever even want to be in a vis the general area of her shitting. Shitting. Because it's fucking, like, you ever, like, look at, like, watch a movie and, like, you smell something disgusting when there's someone, like, good looking on screen and you're like, that's it. They're gone forever. I would never. Stop. What the hell did you just say? You've never done that? You see someone on the screen. And you're like, wow, it's a good looking person. And then like something just... Like, and, then you, and then you smell like shit. And then, you're just and like, then you go, oh no, they're ugly They're, they're forever. Because okay. your olfactory bulb and your memory are linked. Right. So okay. now every time you see that person, you just get to think of that fucking gross ass mud pie that you smelled. Cool. <laughs> I love how you were going to glaze over that because no. Yes. <laughs> yes. Because no. Yes. Absolutely yes. No. But 
If I'm sitting next to my incredibly beautiful wife and I smell her dumps. She's taking a big fat shit. I am so scarred. Yeah. I am never, ever going to look at her the same way. I might, I swear to God, might leave her. <laughs> I might do it. I might fuck around. Hey, guess what? Can't, it was fun hey, while it lasted. Is that poop? You pooping? <laughs> Just like kick the door down. What is that? <laughs> what are you doing? Put a towel under the door, suffocate it in here. Do you okay. Think, you think anyone's ever filed for divorce because of that? Like they smelled a shit? Or like smelled their like significant uh, other fart? One hundred percent I think that at one point, like, the marriage was already going bad and the shit was so bad and it was like, This is the last straw. The last, the- it's like, Oh my god, you've done this. I can't trust you. It smells like shit in here. Yeah, and I then mean, they sign makes, the papers. That makes sense, honestly. Yeah. I would uh, these two weirdos. Yeah, no. And then it says we pee together. Obviously, why no, is that why obvious? Is that, why? Who's, who's, what is obvious about There's that? There's nothing. Not only uh, obvious about that, but even remotely cool about it. Yeah, like why you gotta piss? It's together? like one of those like couples that are like you know like oh like oh you fucking dumping oh you stink like shit like not it's not funny it's not cool. It's not like... Oh, my little stink bug. Yeah, you know, like, like oh, oh, Jesus Christ. You guys bond over shit? These are also the same two. You remember that picture that came out of them leaving the sex store? No. Dude. They had dildos? They had a bag full of dildos. That's cool. <laughs> they had, No. Why do you... A simple one, maybe two. Bro, look How it up. How many dildos? It was uh, enough to fill a bag. They're leaving a sex shop. With a bag of dildos. I gotta look this up. Yeah, it's a full bag. It's a lot of dildos, dude. Dude, that looks like... This is what I look like when I leave the deli at like 2 a.m. Yes. Like, I got like a bacon, egg, and cheese in there. I got fucking candy. I got a bag of chips. And I got drinks. You know what I mean? Multiple drinks. Multiple drinks. This is a full bag, dude. Good for them. No. I mean, yo, dude. Oh, my God. Ew. What? What are they? What happened? You know what? You know my disdain somehow for Megan Trainer. No, somehow it's not her. Somehow this is the worst part about this entire thing is that he's wearing those like toe shoes. Oh, uh, like the Vibrams, I think they were called. They, like they go into each toe. I had those for hiking a long, long time ago, but that's why I had them. I don't. I I did not wear them into the wild. Dude, I just went on a hike that was like pretty legit and had like a, this high viewpoint. Yeah. And there was a lot of people up there. And then some some dude showed up and one of them had those shoes on. And I was like, I I just want to just yeah. push them. It's too close to being barefooted to be comfortable. It's just not, just shut up. You know what I mean? I shut your feet up. I agree. So just wait, so he up. went to a sex shop, walked out with a, a cavalcade of dildos in those <laughs> shoes? <Yeah>. Bro. <laughs> there is... Nothing more fucking like alarming, and they're they're dumping next to each other. I also like forget about. I almost think it makes more sense to shit next to each other than one of you shit and you just kind of hang out. I I would say like I I don't think this marriage is gonna last just based on that. I gotta tell you, I hope they break up. <laughs> I really do. I wish them as individuals nothing but happiness. Clearly together, I miss. I wish them misery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. there is no couple on this planet that should be like, I miss you so much, I need to be there when you fucking shit. Yeah. I I could tell you. She's like, I legit miss him when I'm away from him. Bro, a shit. Max. Bro, max 20 minutes. I, max. I, I swear to God, I, I'm one of those people. Beck and I, when I'm not home, I miss her. Legitimately. Like, yeah. But. But. Big but. Yeah. I don't care enough to be like, I'm going to follow you into the bathroom because if I don't... You know what this is? This is like a cult. This is some control shit. He, one of them is going to come out and be like, yo, like th- things got scary. Like, yeah. I this is some fucking like... They, they got to piss on each other. What's, what's the syndrome when people kidnap the other person? Uh, it's, uh, Sweden. Stockholm. Stockholm. It's Stockholm, I believe. Sweden it's, syndrome. It's a place, isn't it? Stockholm. Yeah, Sweden. Stockholm syndrome. This is some like, is, are we sure like one of them didn't kidnap the other? And it's like, I need to watch you, watch what you're doing when you're pooping. I have no idea, but I, I do know that I'm not a fan. And, but listen, whatever works for you, I guess. Here's my only thing, right? If I can even muster up the want to be like, okay, we're going to sit next to each other. We're both going to be dumping and like just hanging out. The wipe though? Like we got to be present for the wipe. You got to look away. Like the wipe is like, is there, is anything, pri- is anything no. our own? This is the thing. 
if it was like every now and then I go in with her or him and like we're there, whatever. Doors open, I gotta go in, brush my teeth, blah, blah, blah. They got it set up. I don't wanna hear this shit like, oh, it was only once. Like, I miss, like, you got two toilets next to each other because you want this to be a normal thing. Mm -hmm. And the reason I want them to break up is because I want the world to get the message that this is fucking awful. I will say, two toilets next to each other, you could definitely lay across it and pee and throw up at the same time. That wouldn't be awful. Yeah. I mean, unless it's like the, is it like just two next to each other or is it like the built in one where they're like they're seeing each other? Oh, I really hope they're not facing each other. If they're facing each other, I swear to God, I will burn her house to the ground. That's way too like, like, that's like competitive almost. It's almost like we're <laughs> dueling here. You, you go first. Yeah. Oh. It's like almost like a race. I consider myself at my most vulnerable when I'm on the toilet. I would never allow my wife to see me that way. Ever. Yeah. Doors locked. Not locked. Doors closed. I'm in there. Just me, myself, and I. That's all I got. In the end... Let me ask you a question. Has she out. ever made the, the mistake? Now Now I'm... No, like, I know you yes, our you whole do. life. Quite you know? well. But with Becca, she met you later on in your life. That's right. So she had to learn stuff. She did. So... <laughs> she did. <laughs> so, was there ever a time that you were in the bathroom taking a shit... And she thought it was cool for her to just like walk in, like take no, a shower no, or like no, brush no. her teeth or something. No, and you never. just went. Never, 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 okay. ever, ever, never, never, never. I, I mean, our son, that's, that's. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking, bro, in our apartment, he used to like sit in front of the door and like put his hand underneath like a fucking cat. <laughs> And I'd be like, Miles, and I'd hear her in the background like, Miles, go away. <laughs> would you just stare at his And hand? I would just be like, Miles, stop. My, and he'd be like, He'd be like a cat's yeah, tail. Yeah, literally, like, uh, no, like a cat's paw. He'd put his hand up. What was he doing, trying to catch poop? And, like, he would be, like, you know, he'd be, like, talking, like, doing, like, a thing, hand puppet. How much space is underneath this door? The, do you have at a at stall? Our, at our apartment, there was a good amount of space. At and our, he would do sock puppets? He would do, he would be, like, hi. He'd, like, literally lay on the floor. And stare at your feet. And stare at my feet. And I'd be, like, Miles, stop. He'd put stuff under the door. Dude, this is like, this is the anxiety I had when I was like in fucking fourth grade. Like, yeah. it must be terrifying. Yeah, well, it wasn't very fun. I'll tell you that. There were times he would just open it, like, come on in. I'd be like, Miles, what are you doing, bud? And do what? Just like hang with you or like? No, he'd be like, oh, I'm like, he would be like, I'm sorry. And then he'd back out and close the door. But I'd be like, hey, bud, if the door's closed, you always got to knock. Yeah. Like, period. Yeah. And, uh, and, and he's walking on Becca a couple times, I know. I don't know what she was doing in there. As far as I know, she was brushing her teeth, and that's all I want to know. <sighs> Probably taking a big fat poop. I hope not. Just saying. I don't think my wife has a butthole. Uh, uh, I think she might. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that's the thing. The, Becca has always been like super like courteous, you know, w when I'm in the bathroom. But Miles, boy, oh boy, that he might as well kick the fucking door down. I love the sock puppet. That's oh funny. yeah, he's fucking like. Hi, hi, Kingy. And I'm like, Miles, hi. Okay, all right, I'll be out in a minute. That's done. Yeah. We're done now. Yeah. Joke's over. The worst is like when I use the bathroom and I'll come and I'll like come out and it hasn't happened at our place, but it happened like at our old apartment. And he'd be like, oh my God, it stinks. And I'm like, dude, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, before we move forward, let's get to these ads that we have here. The first ads we have, we have better help. I'm uh, getting a toll free call. You think it's 1-800-COLLECT? <laughs> you probably get a free pair of Skechers if you yeah. pick that up. <laughs> um, all right, we have BetterHelp. BetterHelp is online counseling. So if you want to start communicating with a licensed therapist in just under 48 hours, you can do it with BetterHelp. Uh, they have helped over a million people um, around the world. Um, and you can talk, text, you set it up. Um, you can get, to, like I said, you can communicate in just under 48 hours. If it's something you want to try, I mean, like we were just talking about earlier, I'm in therapy. I think it's great. I suggest it to everybody. Um, but yeah, you can message your counselor whenever and set up days that you want to be doing it. Um, so it's very convenient. Uh, they have uh, additional counselors in all 50 states. Um, but yeah, uh, this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and Base Me Yard listeners can get 10% off of their first month at betterhelp.com slash yard. Okay. So not only, uh, are you going to be doing a good thing by, you know, doing some therapy, which I think everyone should do. Um, but also you're getting some, you, some money off here, uh, 10% off when you go to betterhelp.com slash yard. Um, next here we have Honey. Honey is a free online browser extension uh, that you download. It's free. It just takes a few seconds. And it basically saves you money without even you like realizing or trying. 
Um, so when you're buying something and you add it to your cart, Honey will automatically scour the internet for coupons or sales or whatever, um, and then automatically apply them to your cart so it could save you money. So I don't know why anyone wouldn't have this. I mean, it's free. It's gonna save you money. It saved, they have over 17 million members and over $2 billion in savings. Uh, the end of the year is coming. This is when people are buying a lot of stuff online. Just put Honey on your on your browser extension. Save some money. You know what I mean? I've saved like tons of money, like 25% off of things um, using using Honey. And I otherwise, I wouldn't have known about this coupon, okay? So go check them out. Uh, it's joinhoney.com slash basement. Uh, you will get it for free. Uh, joinhoney.com slash basement. Like I said, free. Installs in a few seconds. And then you don't have to worry about it. Just do your online shopping as you normally would. And it will apply the coupons, all right? Uh, so yeah. Next, I would love to talk to you about something else that I saw on the news. Oh my God, the news this week is popping off. It's popping off. Pop, uh, popping. So Salt Bay, this guy. Oh, what's his name? Like Nursit or something? N- what? Nursit. Oh yeah, I don't know how to pronounce his name. It's very Turkish. Do you do that? Have you ever done that? Of course I've done that. Everyone's done it. It's since then, since he's done it. Yeah, I know? didn't do it before. No, I, I'll be honest. As time goes on, he he annoys me even more. Like Salt Bay. I mean, the guy who like sprinkles the salt on steaks like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who um, you're talking about. But he, I think it was the New York Times or something. There was like an article that came out, and this is the quote that he said. He said, uh, in the old days, nobody said that they were a butcher. They would feel not good about it. In Turkey, you would ask a kid, what would you like to be? He or she would say a doctor, an engineer, astronaut. Now everybody wants to be a butcher because of me. Now if you ask a kid, they want to be Salt Bay. They see me as an idol. I'm an inspiration to a lot of people in a very short period of time. Bang! No fucking shot. Yeah, I don't know about that. What old, I mean, maybe he's talking about Turkey. I can't speak about Turkey. I'm going to speak about Turkey. Go ahead. I think this is not right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very, very groundbreaking of you, yeah. Joey. Well, I'm just going to say, listen, I love how he says back in the day, kids wanted to be doctors, engineers, astronauts. Hey, man. Still still do. I th- I'm pretty sure I still think they still do. I uh, don't think that went away. I also think they want to be like Instagram models or like fucking, you, they want to be Jake Paul and shit. Well, who, and then who back in the day was like, uh, a like, shame to be a butcher. Yeah, butcher, bro. Being a butcher, you gotta go to like rigorous training for that shit. You need to like be able to be like, yo, Cal, uh, Chuck, uh, sirloin, tenderloin. Like that's not easy stuff. Yeah, and also I would feel like nowadays it's it would be more like if it is ever embarrassing to be a butcher. Like now more than ever, like there's more vegans. There's more like you know plant-based well, options I, like back in the day bro we were killing and hype about it bro i, I mean people are still pretty pumped no about vegetarians it. back then yeah well there there were just they were shot in the alleyways behind the butcher shop yeah, so they weren't uh but i would say that like i think the market now has been cornered like butcher butchers are like a thing like a dying industry are they yeah absolutely like there's Who's significantly the less meat? like independent butchers because it's just it's all like been bastardized by like shop right Stop and shop, trade fair, you know, like those places that have their own meat departments now have like their own butchers. But like mom and pop, like butchers, back in the day, people would be like, yo, like who are the most trusted people in the world? Like, yo, the fucking Dan Rather, the president, <laughs> and fucking good old butcher Bob. You know, the butcher? The butcher was like the guy. And like barbers. Yeah, b- barbers. Butchers, milkmen were like the corners. no milkmen were fucking their wives. That's right, they were fucking their wives. Yeah, butchers might might have been you know you know dropping the the balls a little low. Yeah, but a lot of meat, a lot of meat. I I I think even to this day it is so easy to tell the difference between a supermarket piece of meat and a butcher piece of meat. Yeah, it's I've, like way. Better. I recently there's a there's a butcher by us, and I recently said like I want to get my meat from this guy. Because, like, there's something wrong. I feel, like, weird about going to ShopRite, and it's all, like, either ShopRite brand, Purdue, or nothing. You know, like, chicken, at least. Yeah. Whereas, like, I'd rather go, and, like, this guy. Uh, you got you got chickens? Let me see what you got. Yeah. And you got good-looking chickens. I also, like, refuse to buy Purdue. Uh, or I, I won't buy it. I, I pick and choose my battles. I haven't been to the place where I'm ready to fight Purdue yet. I, I'm not, like, ready to fight Purdue, but I just, like, won't buy that. Why? I, I just feel like it's too big of a company and they're like, they put out like shit food all the time. Mm. Like, you know, like the frozen stuff? 
Because like when I go to the supermarket, it's like a whole thing. I have to read everything. Yeah, I, I tend to be that way too. Like I order in a lot, but when I go to the supermarket, I read everything. I try to get the least amount of fucking ingredients and shit. Like something be like, oh my god, this is plant based, man, good. Turn around ingredients. It's like a bunch of things I can't pronounce. I'm like, I'm not doing this. Yeah. Oh, you like ketchup? High fructose corn syrup. Yeah. But I got I get away from it. Get the organic one. Get uh, simply, simply, simply. Heinz. They're simply in there. Um. But anyway, uh. In Purdue, they'll like on their frozen shit. I'm like, okay, you know, it's it's not, you know. Mm. All right, fair so enough. I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna buy Purdue. So I try to find some fucking bullshit that I know is probably bullshit anyway. But at least the cows look happy on the packaging. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The most evil shit I've ever seen is you remember in uh, Connecticut there was that supermarket chain, Stu Leonard's. Yeah. Fucking love that place. For any of my northeasters, Stu Leonard's. Uh, what's up, baby? Uh, but Are you connecting with people via supermarket. What's up, babe? Uh, on their, like, at their meat department, they have a screen that shows, it's a live view into their cattle farm. And that's some evil shit. Wait, so you've, you've sat there and watched a cow get fucked I don't, I don't think you watch the cow get killed, but, like, you watch them be taken away. And then it's like, oh, we got new steaks tomorrow. And it's like, oh, shit. Damn, that's kind of... Cool? I guess. I guess, you know, it's like food, you know, farm to table, babe. That's growing I, up all over the place. Honestly, there is something just, like, amazing about security cam footage like I, I could watch anything through that and be entertained yeah like even if it was like nothing it was just like a random like part of a park it's yeah, like, yeah like yo i'm watching this shit I, yo one time on facebook i don't know how this came up i think my mom sent it or something there you go it was something about like birds being born and it was just like a fucking a live stream of like a bird being born or something like that and i watched it for 40 minutes yeah you know which one i watched i watched the one about a horse being born and i was so into it bro i had, I had to watch Time out. I watched this bubble come out of this horse's butt, and I was like, that's another horse. And it was a big horse. Was it Dr. Pole? Do you know Dr. Pole? I don't know who that is. Bro, there's a doctor on TV. His name's Dr. Pole. I have seen this man get his whole arm up to his shoulder into a cow's ass. <laughs> Why and how? And Because he's a doctor. He's like feeling around, and it's like, yo, cows? Bro, put some of this stuff near the ass yeah. so you can just go wrist. It's all in the front, so he's got to fucking reach in there and kind of feel around, like turn. Oh, if, and if a fucking cow is pregnant, forget about it. Oh, dude. he's going. They're going in double. They're turning a cow, and then the cow's giving birth, and it looks. And one time, a cow gave birth, and its whole canal or fucking back ass puss thing fell out. So the cow was just walking around with its whole ass puss. Out and about, just chill, like, and he, and then there's this woman who's like, she looked like, you know, she strong. Was, yeah. She goes in there and she just pushes it shoves back. Shoves it all in. She shoves it back. In. Have you ever put a blanket into a washer or dryer? Literally like that. Ugh. Just shoving it in hand by hand. And then the cow is a cow. Just a cow. Just keeps being a cow. And then Purdue gets that cow and then they make a burger and then they inject in steroids in it and then we eat it and here we go. Purdue's the chicken people. I think they're the ones that have what the chicken. Whatever the fuck. Yeah, no, that, that's not, I've seen something similar on Rotten.com back in the day. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. If it's on a security camera footage, I need to watch it. Like it's just, you have to watch it. But back, butchers <laughs> were fucking great people back in the day. Now, I will say they're dying breed. No one gives a fuck about one. Who you think, bro? You think anyone in their right mind? If I ask, I swear to God, Family Feud style. I ask, I go out, you know, I talk to a hundred kids, and I'm like, "Yo, what do you want to be when you get older?" How many of those kids do you think are gonna say a butcher? Literally zero. Or Salt Bay. None of them. Not one. None of them. Not one wants to be this fucking geek. Yeah. No. I will say, I I do get jealous because I'm the type of guy in a supermarket. If there's raw meat, I'm slapping the hell out of it. Oh, I'm slapping that meat, Raw too. meat and bags of rice are getting a good old spanking. Well, bags of rice hurt sometimes. But it's okay. There's no clap back with a there's bag a little, of rice. There's a little bit. Only like, like nice jasmine rice. I've slapped rice before. I've been like, oh. Hmm. <laughs> but like raw meat, I'm fucking bang, bang. Yeah, dude. I, I do get a little jealous of the meat that he slaps. I think that he's... I, he annoys me. Um, frankly, he does annoy me. Yeah. Um, because he's so dramatic with everything. It's like... And I'm like, I, if I'm at the restaurant and I'm hungry, I'd be like, you fucking leave. Yeah, and he's like putting it into people's mouths and shit like that. Yeah, he's like, oh. Yeah, like, throwing it. I'm like, yeah. bro, we're not at Benny Han Han. Bro, they're fucking tossing a steak. He's catching it on a knife. And he's like, yeah. 
And he's cutting it like an idiot. Let's also, be I don't trust anyone that I can't see their eyes. I've never seen this guy's eyeballs. Yeah, I, he might as well have those monster eyeglasses because, you know, I, I feel like I'd trust those more than what he's got. Uh oh. Hot hey, spot! Hey, hey! Oh! Don't you dare! Don't bite you dare, son of a bitch! He can't bite that too oh, far. Oh, I think he actually wasn't biting it, but we're good. I mean, as long as he's. Oh, no. Oh, he was trying. He looks like, yeah, he looks like he got that a little bit. You're not doing it, buddy. We caught him. You stupid fucking mutt, yo. You think because I'm upset about the fucking salt bay that I'm gonna let you bite your hot spot? Yeah. It you, ain't happening. You bitch. think just because I'm thinking of that bitch, I'm gonna stop thinking of yo. You, you think I'm gonna forget about all the. <laughs> I've been in a big Sopranos mode lately, ever since that movie came out. Don't, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, it's 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 all right. It's okay. It makes but you like listen, listen to me, oh no, oh no. I've been fucking telling you all the time. When I come home, there better be some fucking fresh gumbo. I will say, I I watched the Sopran Sopranos, I think last year or the year before that. Um, show makes you hungry. It's a hungry, hungry show. Because when they eat stuff, you're like, oh. They're like, oh. And anytime he goes to his mom's house, he's always like bringing, I got you ziti. And it's like, oh my God, I would Bro, love ziti. yeah. Right oh man, the Dude, ziti. Dude, I haven't had big ziti in a little bit. I made a lasagna the other day Did for you? this movie. Let me tell you something real quick. Your boy can cook. Wait, lasagna's pretty tough. No, it's not. It's like, yeah, but it's like. It's you gotta like, layer it. It's a lot of effort. But we point. had leftover tomatoes from our garden. So I was like, yo, I'm gonna make a sauce. So I just went and I just fucking bang, bang, bang that son of a bitch. You and, bang, bang, bang. And let me tell you, um, it was heavy. It's all meat and cheese. Yeah, well, yeah. Meat, cheese. We got meat, meat, cheese, meat, cheese, meat, cheese. Yeah. And it's heavy. And repeat. Um, but uh, fuck yeah, man. I you should have put something weird in it. Uh, I did. Uh, so the way I make the sauce, I put a, a squash in it. That's not what I meant. I meant like oh. a, a one of the layers in the lasagna. Oh, just like sneak in like a piece like, of paper. Like meat, cheese, meat, not paper. I meant something edible, you <laughs> oh, fucking <okay>. idiot. <laughs> I mean, paper's edible if you ask the right person. Just like a message. Like when a fucking Oscar bites the bites a sandwich and there's a, a, a fucking note in there from Michael Scott. And it's like, meet me downstairs. <laughs> just like that. Uh, but yeah, no one wants to be fucking salt bay. Yeah, and the state, he has 14 restaurants around the world. So I mean, this guy's loaded. Now. He's crushing it, and some of his steaks are around like seven hundred dollars. Bro, first of all, let me know when you want to go so you can buy me food, because I'm never <laughs> going my fucking self. Apparently, his his like restaurants are not like great quality. Apparently, they're just his? like okay, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, he has fourteen. I would assume that like they're making yeah. So money. does Guy Fieri, but they off they get awful reviews. Also, does he? Bro, he his one that was in Manhattan got like. Panned, like critically panned, because like I don't know this word that you're saying. You never heard of like something's like critically panned. Oh well, it didn't get great reviews, my from what I remember. Um, may, it probably has something to do with the fact that like he calls everything like a cool bro term. He'd be like, "We got a fucking fat stack of ribs slathered in a butcher's donkey sauce," you know, and it's like eh, make this sound cooler. Just call it barbecue sauce. Yeah, just call it donkey <laughs> But, um. Yeah, from what I hear, his restaurants are just like, okay. Yeah, I have no idea, but... The it's guy, like Planet the guy, Hollywood. The guy, what? Oh, yeah, well, like... Like, everyone's like, oh, but it's just like, it's all right. Yeah, I mean, that's how I feel about, like, Buffalo Wild Wings. You've never had it? No, I haven't. So then how the fuck can you say that? Buffalo Wild Wings are delicious. I know that it's, uh, like, a one of those chains, and yes. it can't be great. Yes. I mean, it's it's good wings, and very, very high in salt. Super high. Super high in salt. All wings are, no? Sauce? The sauce is like the nuts, most nuts thing I've ever seen. Was it you who we were talking about this like recently and you're like, I bought the sauce? I went to, I went to the store to see it and it was like a serving size was like a teaspoon and it had like 33% of your daily intake for sodium <laughs> and in the fucking, in the bottle was like, it was like 300 servings. And I was like, this is an issue. I could Jesus. could not fuck it. I mean, that's obviously an exaggeration, but it was a lot. That's insane. It was a lot. Good lord. Would you want to be Salt Bay? Oh no. Yeah. I, I I'd want to have his money. You know what I would love? I would love to like. I would love to own a restaurant and not do anything. Like I don't want to be involved. I would just love to be like, oh, this is my place. I didn't get to walk in and be like, oh, hey, let's go in there, bud, and walk in the back and like. You know, put your arm around the chef, like, oh, you know mm. what I mean? I'd love to do that. You love to go from making a podcast and not doing anything to owning a restaurant and not doing anything? Exactly. <laughs> it's a joke. Don't fire me. Uh, 
No, my understanding, owning a restaurant is fucking like <laughs> tough work, dude. Dude, a restaurant is fucking it's insane. Like, it's like, would they say like only 10% like last past the first like three years? It might even be a little. And then, like you, know, like as an owner, don't turn a profit until five years or some shit like that. I think it's like at least two. That's fucking nuts. Yeah, it's crazy. And also, probably if you're opening a restaurant in Manhattan. Yeah, right, bro. I don't know how anyone has a business in Manhattan unless they've been like grandfathered in. It's like rent controlled, bro. You ever walk by like stores, even like on Steinway over here? Not like the greatest area in the world, and the rent's probably not insanely high. I but mean, you it's walk, Astoria. Yeah, it's pretty. I'm sure it's still like like something, but it's not like ten thousand dollars a month or anything like that. But a couple thousand dollars a month in rent for sure. Yeah. You walk down this street, and there's some stores that I'm like. This whole store is covered in dust. Mm -hmm. It's not like, how are they paying? No clue. It must be like rent controlled where it's like they've been written in that they don't pay anything more. And then when they go out of business, that's when it gets fucking jacked up. Because like, know. you know what recently went out of business? RIP, Yogi Lala. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. You don't know Yogi Lala, dog? I, I know where that's it was. That's a story of staple. It was a, it was a jewelry store. I went to go try to get... A nameplate for my girlfriend in camp in sixth grade. And guess what? I didn't because I didn't really know how expensive it was. Is it, it was this Randy? Yes. That's exactly who it was. That's beautiful. Yeah. I mean, that was a man. I was a romantic. That's beautiful. Um, all right. Let's get to these next ads we have here. Go ahead. And then we'll move on a little bit. Before you get to the ads, can I just let people know, remind them that we have a Patreon account. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Uh, we have something planned if we get to 10,000. We've been floating around 9,600 for like two, three months. So if we get to 10,000, tell your friends, tell your significant others, tell your parents, tell your family, tell anyone. It's really worth it. You get exclusive content every single Friday. Uh, so you start your week, end your week with episodes of The Basement Yard. And those weekly episodes that you're watching right now, guess what? If you're a patron, you saw it before everyone else. Or maybe you waited. Doesn't matter, but as a patron, you get access to it. So go to patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Pick the tier that's right for you, or else I literally am going to be without a job. Joey will fire me. <laughs> anyway, uh, we have MVMT. MVMT has now expanded their business into blue light glasses to, to protect your eyes from screens. So we're all looking at your phone, your laptop, whatever. A lot of people are working from home on their computer now. You're gonna be looking at screens a lot. It's gonna make your eyes hurt or you're gonna strain them too much. Definitely wanna use blue light glasses. It's proven to, to help keep your eyes like healthy and you know working properly. Um, so they have blue light glasses. They're all very stylish. I love the blue light glasses. I have like three pairs of them, honestly. They have minimalist jewelry. Uh, they have the watches. Like, they have a lot of stuff. So definitely go check them out with the watches. I have a bunch of their watches, too. They're very nice. Um, you know, they have the look and quality of a $400 to $500 watch. You're paying, you know, you're paying $400 to $500 at, like, a department store for one of these watches. And this is just a fraction of the price uh, because they were built online and uh, they own their process from start to finish. Okay, so it cuts out the middleman and you're saving a bunch of money. You're not paying this crazy price, um, but you still get a beautiful watch. Um, and, and anyone can get a watch. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a unisex kind of gift and it's a great gift for anyone. And like I said, the holidays are coming up. Um, so join MVMT and get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to MVMT.com slash basement. That is MVMT.com slash basement for 15% off today with free shipping and free returns. Uh, and lastly here, we have FitBot, okay? Uh, FitBot creates a fitness program that continually adapts with new exercises and dynamic intensity that adjusts to how you're progressing. So basically what that means is like when people work out, they sometimes they go to the gym, they do the same exercises over and over again. You will reach a point where that's not going to be the optimal way, like way to gain muscle or lose weight or whatever. You kind of have to keep your body guessing and listen to your body and try new things. Um, and that's what FitBot does. So they understand the path um, to achieving your best look is different for everyone. So their algorithm uses data and analytics to help you build on your last workout to maximize your results. Also, you can put in what your, you know, what your goal is. You wanna gain muscle mass, you wanna lose weight, you wanna do whatever, um, then you can put that in and they will do it even if you don't have access to a gym or weights. They have body weight routines for those looking to get you know, fit at home or on the go. Um, personalized training can be tough on the budget, but FitBot is only $9.99 a month or $59.99 a year. Uh, you sign up right now and you get 25% off that already affordable membership. Uh, get 25% off your membership at fitbot.me slash basement. That is 25% off at fitbot.me slash 
basement. Uh, so go check them out, guys. Get into shape. Whip it up. Lord knows I need that. Why'd you say that like a hillbilly? Because I am. I feel like one. Lord knows I need that. I think I'll, I'll, I'll buy, buy... Is that really from 1998? It looks vintage. Yeah, it is. Is that yours? No, I stole it off of a fucking man on the street. <laughs> yeah, it's mine. Becca found it at a garage sale. That's fire. And well, that's that, what I meant. This was a dollar. I meant like, did you get it in 1998? No, or? no, 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 no. It was. But that was a dollar? Yeah. Garage sale, babe. Except now they have these fucking retro, you know, st- uh, shirt and hoodie and jersey and hat stores where it's like, yo, for fucking something like this, you'd pay like 150 bucks. Yeah, probably. Ridiculous. The world is weird. But just walk around and you'll get it. There you go. Uh, that's what I got. I know. There's a fly in There's here. There's a fly in here and I want to fucking murder it. You think I can get it? No, I don't. You want to just open that window? No, don't open the window, actually. Too much noise. Frank? Don't. I try to get the... I try to if get I it. catch this fly... I've caught multiple flies recently. I've caught a fly... <gasps> oh, oh. I, thought, I thought you did. I thought you did. Where is he? I don't know. Where I almost go? caught that fucking bitch. Yeah, there you go. All right. Um, last thing I have here, Urban Meyer. Yeah, Urban Meyer's a he's a coach. He yep. was a, he was a coach at uh, Ohio. Oh no, at Florida. He was a coach at the University of Florida. Yep. And uh, I don't know why I was gonna say Ohio State. Was he at Ohio State? I don't know. I think he might have been. Wasn't he fired because like he like knew stuff about people that did stuff or something like that? <laughs> I think it was like a scandal. Urban Meyer coaching. I know he was at Florida. Yes. And then I, maybe he was at fucking uh, Ohio State. I think he might have been. Whatever, it doesn't matter. He's at the, He's on the Jaguars now. Is he the head coach? He is. That's right. I knew that. Trevor Lawrence, not on my fantasy team. You know why? Don't have one. Also, he's not doing great. Yeah, I know. Uh, could be. Could be worse. Could be Zach Wilson. How you doing? He was a uh, an assistant. Oh, he was at Ohio State, bro. I'm I'm an idiot. He was at Ohio State for six years. I, that, if I knew that and you didn't know that, you are an idiot. I like did. That's why I said that. But then I, I was like, I, I know college. that he coached. Tim Tebow, so I was like, Florida. But anyway, um, and he coached at Utah, too. Good for him. Um, but yeah, anyway, so he's a coach. He's an NFL coach now. He coaches the, Jag- uh, the Jaguars, and he was seen at a bar. I did some research, so here's what happened. The guy was at dinner with a bunch of his buddies, right? Okay, go on. And then I think he owns the bar next to this restaurant. Um, irrelevant. I don't even know if that's true, but whatever. So apparently there was a couple – kids or whatever some college kids that were there and like oh urban meyer like you know whatever the fuck so he was like come next door to the bar have a drink or whatever so he went come to your bar and have a drink yeah so he went to the bar and he's kind of like so the video is him sitting kind of like stand sitting on a bar stool okay and there's a girl there who's an obvious college gal and she's 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 like you know kind of dancing on him you know what What's I mean? kind of dancing on him? Can you pull up the... Let me see this video. Uh, I know... So this is what I know. I know that there was a video of him getting danced on. And I know, like, I've seen all over ESPN. It's been like, we are so sorry. He is so sorry. And I was like, why is this, why is this guy apologizing? Didn't know. He's got, he got a wife and kids. Had a wife and kids. Yeah. Didn't I mean, know that. That's, that's probably why it's, like, really bad. But I'll say this. The way it was happening in the first video, right? Because it was two videos. The first one... Where she was kind of just dancing, like she wasn't like dipping it low or like you know. Give me what song would you think would be playing that would 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 call for that dancing? Give me a good one. We fell in love in a hub. Okay, all right. So that's not like that. It not wasn't like, King of the Dance Hall. That's or not. Yeah, we're not going full on. Welcome the King of the Dance Hall. It wasn't like that. By the way, go to Patreon, watch our. We did a episode yeah. just about songs to bash your penis too. Yeah, like I was watching the video. She wasn't dipping it low or like butt mashing his cock like she's trying to make avocado or anything. Can I ask you or something? Guacamole. Was she? A white girl? Yeah. Okay, so she clearly didn't know it. If yeah. he was getting in there with, you know, someone that knew how like, to work that like thing. A, like a Jamaican girl. We something. might have some trouble. Yeah, you I mean, know? he might have. So he might have to ice his fucking balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but she was, like, lightly dancing, right? And I was just like, all right, like, I get give me, it. Give me the dance move. Like, she was just kind of, like, you know, like, she was holding her drink with two hands. Okay, like, you know, like smart. The, oh, never put your drink down. Yeah, it was just, you know what I'm saying? Let's secure the, secure the drink. Yeah. Um, but she was just kind of, like, doing this. And, and like, but she definitely was rubbing that butt. She was, like, presenting it. Giving her butt on his balls? She was presenting the butt. Okay. And, like, but I don't think that she was, like, you know, she wasn't turned around face him, like, yo, like, grabbing like, the back of his neck, like, yo, I'm like, gonna fucking ride you into the fucking sunset tonight. <sighs> 
You okay. Know what I'm okay. Uh, but what sh- would that look like? Just I don't know, dude. I don't want to. Just do dance anything. for the people. Give them something to get shut up. Happy about. Um. But right. So I, I saw that and I was like, I get it. Guy has wife and kids. And how was he dancing? He wasn't. He was just kind of like, hey, like, hey I'm not. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, he's like, I'm not really doing anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't have his hands up, but he was just kind of like there. He wasn't making her go away or anything, but he was like, you know, I'm just gonna. Just like, but whoa, it's not whoa. like he was like, you know, really like, yo, this guy's got a wife, dude. Chill. The first video. Oh, there's multiple. Well, there was one other okay, angle. Okay, so first video. So the first video, I saw that and I was like, I get it, but like, I don't think his wife's gonna be all that mad. But then, but then, but then they got the good angle. There was another video. Where it looked like he got a little overzealous and tried to, like, touch her butthole. Stop! Yeah. Not, like, inside the pan... That fucking fly. I saw... I thought you had it, honestly. If I would have caught that backwards... I would have... I swear to God. I swear to God. I would have ended this, walked out, and then just... I would have done the show by myself. Yeah, I I probably would have just became a ninja or something. Yeah, and I would have taken over... A monastery. Yeah. Um, but he, he went, he went full, so he, he tried to go QB sneak. He tried to like, you know, when you grab a girl's butt and, and, and like, you just, uh, I don't, you grab a butt, right? Yeah. Forget about the cheek. You grab like, so you could get both cheeks on these fingers here. Yeah. And then the, naturally the rest of them kind of like slide under or uh-huh. like, it, it kind of looked like he was doing something like that. He didn't grab her ass, but it looked like, but you said second, he was going for butthole. Well, well the butthole's right there. The butthole's in between. Right. Was he was he making a play? He wasn't touching her. He had two fingers out. Okay. He wasn't like poking he her cheek. He wasn't going like, yo! Yeah, no. It wasn't like... <laughs> <laughs> tongue, it wasn't like that. Tongue at all? <laughs> no, but it looked like he went for it. And maybe he touched something and on the outside. First of all, not cool. Not great. Don't do that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I mean, go ahead, do it. No! But, but you, gotta, you gotta wipe the kids. But also, like, this person on you dancing on you probably just want you to finger their butthole on the dance floor. Oh. Unless they turn around, they're like, yo, butthole time. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know the vibe. It, it looked like she was open to, you know, careful. getting butt um, touched. But, careful there. She, she didn't write a note to him. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying, hey, <laughs> no, no, fucking no, 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 sexually assault around. everyone. I'm fucking around. <laughs> you were the one it's advocating back, for it's that. It's back, it's back. Got it. <laughs> I thought I had it. Do you see it? No. This thing's gonna fly in my face, and I'm gonna fucking smack myself. Um, but uh, wow, he went right for butt. What now? The second dance video. Yeah. What yeah. was what was the song playing? What was the vibe? Uh, I didn't hear the song. Got it. <laughs> bitch, bitch. You that your dog now? Charlie, do something. <laughs> um. Great. Now Charlie's up. Um. But yeah, no, I don't know the song that was playing, but I did see. No, it was I like know. Slow like, motion, like in boom. the second video, the dance that he was doing. What 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 song were you getting? So in the first one you got We found out in a hopely plane. What were you getting in the song. second one? You are the dancing queen. You, you, you. Really? He was trying to go <clears throat> Oh. He was trying to go knuckle deep to Apple? I think so. That's that's kind of a power move. Yeah. Uh but Well I, cause I didn't know I asked you, I was like, why is this guy like why is he issuing so many apologies? And I didn't know the family thing. That I didn't know. Yeah. I thought he was just a, like a divorced dude, just living it up in Jacksonville, which is a shithole. <laughs> uh, and was just fucking just out there just getting grinded on by just, you know, 20-year-old co-eds. Co- what does that even mean? I don't know. But I've seen it. Because someone said co-ed. I saw someone say co-ed, you know, when, this, when reading about the story. I don't know what co-ed means. I, I know it means. I know what it means, but like, why are we calling this... One person a co-ed. I, don't I thought know. like co-ed dorms. There's girls and boys. I don't. I have no idea. Maybe it's someone who's getting their education. They are an ed. I would. Co-ed. I would. Then I. I hope so. Yeah. But I. I was like, yo, why is it? Why is it like? And and in a way, yeah, dude. In a way, coaches touch butts. Well, hold on. Uh, their wives' butts. I mean. Well, yeah. Their like wives people, butt. people touch butts. I get. I get why you know, like his family's upset. I presume I, I haven't heard anything from the family. I, I haven't called Urban Meyer's wife recently. We we reached out for a comment, we didn't get one. Out, didn't get one. Um, <laughs> but I all like I kind of don't understand why you need to like give like a public apology on this. Yeah, I don't either. Because it's like, why do us as a society need to kind of like, yo, realistically, like if please, hey, don't cheat on your significant other. But why is it then everyone else's fucking business if you do? 
I don't know. I find that very strange, to be honest. Like, I also like with like YouTubers when if they like go through a breakup, they like post a video of like we're done. She's like, we feel like we owe it to you guys. Like, uh, uh, no, you don't. There's certain part. <laughs> I mean, fuck? like he he's the face of an organization that you know. I get that there is a a, a limelight on him in some regard. But like when it comes to like his home life, I I kind of just think like maybe that's not our like you could say like hey I w- it was stupid but like you don't need to go on a fucking like apology tour. Yeah, like we don't know if he if his him and his wife are in like an open. She might have been so cool with it. She might have been like, yo, that was a good dance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good good job dancing, Urban. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's. Uh, it's that stuff's kind of weird. Like I get it for like an organization. Like we don't want to make this organization look like it's like yeah. out here just like. We're, so you you I guess you have to do that. But like I don't know, bro. Uh, to me, it's like I don't live your lives, deal with your fucking troubles, and like don't ask me about mine. You know now, what I mean? When it gets in the realm of like acting like he's like fucking like groping this under not underage obviously, but this younger girl without her consent, then I get why it's like oh uh, yeah, si- sound the alarm. Yeah, well when but you're like, breaking the law, it's a different story. Yeah, when he's out there and he's having a couple drinks. And forget about the family thing. Like, and I understand why that, that... A young girl notices a coach, and she wants to put her butt on his knee. Listen. Was it his knee? I don't know. It's all in the vicinity. Well, the it was knee. not his penis? I mean, it... <laughs> was it his penis area? I mean, the knee... It was a sitting It was a sitting knee, so it was near the penis. Oh, he was getting sat on. No, he, no, he wasn't getting sat on. He was sitting. I need to see the video of him getting danced on. We'll do it after we record. Okay. That's fine. But, it, you know, obviously shouldn't be doing that. Don't because you got Oscar. a family. I was going to call him Oscar. Oscar Meyer. Oscar Meyer. Uh, don't do Urban. it. Urban. By the way, what? Dude, worst. A, ch- a baby child. And you go, Urban. By the way, what? Dude, worst. A, ch- a baby child. And you go, Urban. <laughs> what? Is that his real name? Or Urban. Is it, or is it like, you know, like uh, Bartholomew Meyer. And he's like, call me Urban. Why? Oh, because I had two black friends in high school. It's like, all right, chill out, dude. Urban Frank Meyer, dude. Dope ass middle name. Just go by that. What's wrong? The third, bro. Mad Urbans. Who the fuck are Urbans? Apparently them. Where's he from originally? His parents are. His dad's name is Bud. Yeah. So it's not Urban. Why is he the third? Was it his grandfather? His parents are what? Stupid? Because I could tell you that that's probably true for naming him <laughs> Urban. Urban, I'm sure your parents are lovely people, but they gave you a shitty name. Listen. I know he's listening. Urban isn't watching the show. Bro, bro you know you should get on OPL, which you guys go check out? Get the girl that danced on her. <laughs> <laughs> just other people's lives, and you just got like, she's yeah. She's like, I, I, uh, I had a whiskey sour. I had too many whiskey sours, yeah. and I, I danced on a knee. You know what I mean? I'm or f- near a penis. <laughs> near a penis. A penis. Yeah, you know. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. All we got for this week. Um, but yeah, like I said, studio's getting built right now. Yeah, it's you know on its I mean? way, if, dog. If if, if uh, once that contractor finds parking, <laughs> it's a wrap. It's a wrap, man. <laughs> It'll be done quick. Yeah, so we're excited about that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have a brand new set. I don't know what it's gonna look like yet, but it's gonna be cool. Yeah, and as you're waiting for that set to come out, you can actually go watch the Santa Gata Studios videos that are available right now. Every single Wednesday they're coming out. We got two on there for you. We're back, baby. We're live. We're large. We're in public. We're not getting grinded on by any co-eds. Uh, co-eds. <laughs> but go to Santa Gato Studios on YouTube. Check out the two videos we got up there. There's gonna be more coming out. And then make sure you go check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash the basement yard. I've been Frank. I haven't been keeping it, Frank. I'm coming for you soon. Okay. Uh, but I've been Frank F. Alvarez 8085 on Twitter and then the Frank Alvarez on Twitch and Instagram. I haven't been streaming a lot lately because life has been tough with an eight month old, but I'll be back late uh, soon. So go check it out. Yeah, and you guys can follow me at Joe Santagato on all social media and go follow the show at The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram. And that is all. See you guys next time. And we'll do it next time.